All right, well, I heard that today's Zordal and Fibble were interesting, so it seemed like the obvious thing to do is to do them both at the same time. So if you're not familiar with Zordal, it's like Wordle. There's two words on the same grid, and we've got hard mode turned on, so we don't know what our starting word is here. It'll be revealed one letter at a time as we make our first five guesses. Uh, on the right is Fibble, and that's just like Wordle, except on every line, one of the clues is a lie. And I'm going to try and make the same guesses on both and solve all three of the words. That's the goal anyways. So, I mean, for Fibble, I usually try to repeat, especially the colored ones, um, to try and get some contradictions uh, on the Zord. I mean, we don't have anything to go off of, so we just want to do five different letters. Um... Maybe something with the I, N, and the S would be good, because those would be good letters on the left, on the Zordal, and repeat the I and the N, and repeat the S, but especially the I and N. We could do something like lines. Seems good. Okay. Lines over, ooh, that was really good over there. Okay. So, um, we know one of the two N's is a lie, for sure. So the I's are definitely true. Uh, now, and the S's are definitely true. Apart from that, I don't think we can say too much yet. We know there's the I second. If if this if this is a lie, then there is an N, right? It could be that it's supposed to be green or it's supposed to be yellow. Either way. But that would mean that the L and the E are true. Right? So it has to be L I. And then probably E at the end. It could be E third. If, let's imagine that the yellow N is true at the top. That would mean that this is supposed to be yellow. But that means that there's an M or a U in the word as well. So, you'd need to have an N and an E an M or a U, and it, I mean, if the E was here, then you'd have to have N, U, or N, M, which doesn't work, and if the E is at the end, then you still have to have, no, I don't think that works, so I don't think it works for this to be true, I think that has to be a lie, which means these are true. Now we don't know if it's a lie because it's green or it's a lie because it's gray. So this could still be true or false. Now if this is true, then one of those is a lie, but we don't really know. Okay. So I'm thinking over there something L-I something something E. That's kind of what I'm thinking. But, um... Ooh, so on the right, liege would be really good to guess because we've got two possibilities for E, but that's not great. That's help. The, the E is really good on the left if we do the double E, but the L and I we don't want to redo. What about, uh, what about P? Oh, but the P. I was just thinking new spots for the S, E, I, and L, but we don't want to do the P since it's gray up there. Um, let's do, let's do slime. That's pretty good. And that, that gives us a few options for contradictions over here, because not only are we re doing another L, but if, for example, the L was green, well, we would know it was a lie, because the, the I is already green in that spot. That's not too bad. Um, new letters over here. Or... No, let's do slice. Slice is better. Because I think we've got enough, enough options for contradictions over here. We don't need to repeat another gray. It'd be good to check a new letter. Let's go with that. Okay, well that was really good over there. Slice, okay. So, what do we know, what do we know? We know this is true. The L's, one of these L's has to be a lie, right? Either there's an L or there's not. So, and one of the E's has to be a lie. So everything else on those two rows has to be true. That's true, which means that's false. So that's what we thought, good, good. Now, that means either the L or the E is a lie, and down here we know one of the two is true. So only L or I is in the word, not both. So it's not L, I, something, something, E. Um, and I don't know. I feel like either one could be true or false. 
So, all right, let's look over here. We've got the L, the I, the E. There is a C, so I'm glad I switched to Slice. There could still be an M, we don't really know. But we still need to find the S, the E, and, or no, the S and the C. The S and the C, along with some new letters. Um, what about Ascot? That's a pretty good one. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay. Not as good as I was hoping for. Uh, over here, we know this is true. We know this is true. Ooh, interesting. There's an O or it's... There's at least one of O or T in the word. And if both letters are... Well, they could still be... Yeah, I was going to say, if both of them are in there, then there has to be an A. Because these would both be true. But actually, it could still be a lie and it could be... That it's supposed to be green, right? It could be a T at the end. Hmm, okay. Uh, I'm going to just keep working on the left one and we'll get enough information on the fibble eventually, I hope. Ooh, this could be pizza, which is funny because I guess slice, which could have been an answer with pizza. Uh, what would it be? Well, we know the S is third or fourth now. It could be something ST. That would be pretty good. Um, could it be something like that? I don't, I don't like that. IST or OST. We haven't found the O yet. Uh, should we do something with like OSH maybe? We could do like Frosh. I don't know. Sure. Try some new letters. Ooh, okay. Well, the R was really good. We found the S. Good. Do that over here. Uh, ooh, interesting with the O's. Now we know this is true. Then, oh. Okay, so, hmm. We're getting a lot of yellows and greens, which is interesting, because we now know there's an O, at least one of O and T. There's at least one of R and O. And if the O is true, then it has to be I O. Which is possible, but... Uh, it almost seems like you could do riot something, but you have to do like... Riots and there's no S, so... And then, yeah, then the O and the T would both be true if you did riot. And so then the A would have to be the lie, you'd have to have an A as well. And this R and O would both be right, true as well, and you'd have to have an F or an H, so that's no good. And we need an L or an E still. So we have an I, we need an L or an E, we need an O or a T, we need an O or an R. So if it wasn't the O, we would have I, T, R, and an L or an E. And if, the, if there's an L, it has to be first. Oh, I was gonna say leader, but that almost works, because this could be, you know, if the L would be true, the E would be the lie, which would mean it could be green, except if the L is true, then this is a lie, which means the E is true, so we can't do, can't do that. Okay, well, I'm just gonna keep working on the left one. So we've got L, we've got R, we've got T and E at the end. Uh, the O now has to be at the beginning. Um, o R or O L? Olive, olive. Okay, it's pizza. We've got. We're gonna have toppings. We're gonna have olive, and the other one is is crust. It's crust and olive. Crust, olive. There we go. Ooh, we got an interesting background there. Okay. Uh, so we have to do crust. We have to do olive. All right, now we can solve this thing, hopefully. All right, so that's, okay, one of the R's is a lie. Uh, and yeah, so, well, hmm, that's not super helpful though, is it? This is true, we know that. What else do we know? Ah, one of these T's is a lie. Okay, this is true, we know that from up there. Oh, we've got another. L. Ooh, 
one of these two, look at, look at slice and olive. One of the L's is a lie and one of the E's is a lie. So everything else has to be true on there, which means there is an O. So the only way this one can be a lie is if it's green. And once again, we know that either the L or the E is true. And we also know that either the L or the E is true up here, but unfortunately, so if the L is true, then it works out because it's green at the end and this one's yellow. And if it's the E that's true, it's green. It would be better if it was like two greens or something and you could know that it wasn't going to work that way. Uh, all right, so we've got the I. What is... We know there's an O now. And, and if the O were fourth, making this true, then you'd basically... No, if it was fourth making that a lie, then you would have to have a T somewhere. So if it's L-I something O, it would have to be T-O. But that means that this green O is a lie. And there has to be an R. It would have to be that. But if there's an R, then this R is a lie, which means you have to have a U. So you can't do that. So the O cannot be fourth and there is an O, it can't be fourth, therefore this has to be true. Okay, so either the T is the lie, which seems likely since we've got the gray T down here, or there's an A and a T, but we've already got I and O and either E or L. So if we had an A and a T, that would be all of the letters, that seems unlikely. So I think the T is gonna be the lie. Yeah, which would make it true on here, because also if the T is, if the T is true, this is a lie and you need to have a U. So that doesn't work. The T can't, this T can't be true. Because you'd have I, O, T, L or E, and you'd have U and and A. So that would be too many. So that can't be true. This has to be... Yeah, this has to be a lie. That can't be true. Yep. Which means the A is true. There's no A. Okay, so... And I think there's going to be no T. That's what we're saying, right? We can't have... it. Well... Could it be green? If it was green, this would be a lie. Yeah, but then you run out of places for the T, or for the O, I mean. Because the O can't be first or fourth. The O would have to be third. It would have to be I O something T. And if this is true, the U is true. Where's the U going to go? No, that doesn't work. The T's got to be great. That's got to be true. Now, if, the, if there is an R, if that were true, this would be a lie. This would have to be true. We're going to have an R and a U. And a T and an O and an I. No, no T. No T. R, U, O, I. An L or an E. Actually, something else to think about. Let's look at this O right here. If this is a lie, if it's not there, then the O has to be at the end. Which then means the green E has to be the lie. So the green L has to be true. So it would be something like this. Could we do we can't do lingo, there's no N. And if that O is a lie, then the R is true. Which means this R is a lie, which means the U is true. So we'd have to have an R and a U. I don't think that works. I don't think that works. I think the green O has to be true. Which is interesting, because now we have I O. And it's either L I O. Something. Can't do an N. Or it's I O with an E at the end. Uh, oh, what about what about diode? Does that work? This would be 
A lie, true, lie. I think that works, actually. Or, oh yeah, you can't do biome. I was gonna say biome would work too, but we know there's no M. I think diode is really good. I'm gonna go with diode. Yes, okay. Very nice, all right. Oh, we got a picture again on the... There we go, puzzle submitted by Heidi L. And it's pizza equals olive plus crust. That's the uh, AI generated image. Um, oh, it says down there, images by Mid Journey AI with prompting from Keldor. Uh, very interesting picture. <laughs> I don't know. Interesting, yes, for sure. All right, so there you go. We got two words on the Zordal, one word on the Fibble. Um, had one guest remaining still, so pretty good. Let me know how these two puzzles went for you and which one you had a harder time with. And be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. We'll pick a random available seat. Why? Who knows? That's just the kind of thing hypothetical passengers do. Um, that's pretty good. Let's go with that. Wow! No way! <laughs> Yeah, I mean, either a part or short could be right, or neither of them could be right, who knows? I mean, 20 times 11 is 220, then we would need to add 53, 40 plus 13 is 53. There we go, 11 times 20, 220.